the presidential candidate for the largest opposition party, Sierra Leone's People's Party. He was the country's military head of state in 1996. Bio spoke to viewers Peter Clote about his vision for the nation and his confidence in the Electoral Commission to deliver a free, fair and credible election. We have worked very closely with this particular commission and um, it is their responsibility to make sure that we deliver a clean election. So far, we've worked uh, fairly well. We've had some concerns about some critical issues and they've addressed some of those. Some of them, they are still uh, have not been addressed. But in terms of relationship and dialogue, this particular commission, unlike the one in 2012 when I contested for the leadership of this country, is much better. Um, we have told them that we want a transparent, free and fair election. It is left with them now, and uh, we've been working with them, so I'm sure uh, they will keep to their promise of delivering on their key constitutional mandate. The IGP, the Inspector General of Police, <coughs> came up with what some of your supporters are calling a unilateral vehicular ban during the election period. What is your take? We are against it. But at the same time that they've decided to do this, we are fully aware of the fact that all government departments have applied for the passes that will give them the freedom to move about. And we know there is, um, <laughs> there is bad faith behind this particular decision. As the oldest party, the party who brought democracy, the party that brought peace, we have said vehicles have nothing to do with violence in this particular instance. As a matter of fact, people are going to need to move even within their own precincts. Um, to, to, to be able to vote. So, going through the city <coughs> of Freetown, a lot of people have expressed concern about politically related election violence. How do you communicate with your supporters and encourage other supporters who might not necessarily be for you about a 